Richmond's an incredible place. You kind of have this sense that, you know, it's a Richmond pride, it's a Richmond pride thing, that, you know, this is homegrown. And growing up here, obviously, I know a lot of incredible people. I don't think any feeling could beat it, just to know that I get to play for my city and the city that I grew up in. It's kind of uh, owning up to the, the title of uh, University of Richmond, you know, having uh, so many guys from the 804. Omar's always running up and down the sideline. He's like, 804, baby, let's go, let's turn it on. He's like, come on, t Dog, you got me, man. And it's, it's, it's tough, it's really tough to see people that you played against and played with come out and excel beyond others as a team and as a group. So I, I think it's, it's huge. And for them to step up individually as they have, it gives you drive to go out and make the plays that, that you know you can make because you see others, you see your teammates and your boys making those plays. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool, it's amazing. I, I, I can't describe the feeling just because and I'm pretty sure I'll appreciate it more once I'm gone, but as of right now, I am living in the moment, and this is pretty cool. Growing up here, obviously, I know a lot of incredible people who live here, um, and it's just amazing seeing everybody uh, who I've grown up with and come in contact with over the years support me and su support my friends and, and teammates. And um, it just makes this feel like more like home. Huge stop for the Spiders. See if they come after this punt. They have 10 guys on the line of scrimmage. Here they come, and they get to it. The fifth-year senior, the former walk-on, who was given a scholarship this past spring, Will McCombs, comes up with the special teams play. At least in my experience, I can't speak for other people, but plays like that are such a blur. Um, it just happens so fast, and you really just have to rely on what you've been training for the past four years. Um, you know, just all those little stupid drills that we've been doing day in and day out. You thought you'd never, they'd never pay off, but in, in a play like that, where it seems like it happens in a millisecond, those instincts just take over that you've been working for, for on the practice field for so long. We just kept believing and kept fighting. I mean, even if it was, um, our last game, I mean, you know, we want to go out fighting, uh, screaming, shouting, you know, so I think uh, that was the mindset. It's like, you know, even if this is the last for all, let's go out and with, with a bang. Go to 37 on the jet sweep, and there is Clyde again. He read the play beautifully. Yeah, it was pretty much, you know, we just need one more, get one more, get one more, get, get one more possession for the offense so they can score, get one more stop so we can uh, come back out here, get one more stop. And, you know, it was just kind of that next play mindset. Um, we weren't looking too far ahead. It's like, oh, what do we have to do? We don't have to force any turnovers. We, we don't have to do anything special. Just get the one next uh, stop. And, you know, that's kind of what we did. Goal season with the aggressive play calling on the defensive side where they dial up a blitz. It's a delayed. Johnson picks it up. He'll launch deep downfield, looking for Wilkins, and he makes the catch. Are you kidding me, Wilk? His first words before he called the play was, give me time, and we're going to make something happen right now. And so uh, Kev called the play. We all lined up. I just kept running, and uh, it kind of just, just to see like what would happen. You know, you never want to stop running in the middle of the play. But I kept running, and I looked back, and I, I caught a glimpse of Kev in the pocket and I saw him kind of cock back to throw the ball and in my mind I was like he's really about to throw this ball right now <laughs> and so I just kept running and um and the ball was in the air and the only thing I could think was ball man you and get between the ball and the man and uh I guess the rest just kind of happened naturally I just tried to make a play on the ball tried to high point it at its highest point and I honestly didn't realize how significant the catch was until after the game until after I guess everybody kept coming up to me and saying great catch and seeing it on Sports Center. I didn't realize how, how big of a catch it was. I, in my mind, I was just doing my part. I had a fumble earlier on in the game that was crucial. So just to see everybody step up and make the plays that they need to make was, was definitely great.